Hello guys and welcome back. We are gonna go ahead and check out uh, some things we've done here in this editor. Um, we've been playing around with this for maybe, I don't know, five minutes, but the we got so far, we'll, we'll play scene and uh, we'll post some other things soon, but uh, let's go ahead and roll it. Alright, so we started. Everything's dropping down. It's chaos. It's mayhem. Uh, we need to, to move some of these blocks. So how would you move them? Running into them doesn't work. Let's try shooting them. We're going to try that again. Now, what you just saw was, you notice that I fired and nothing happened. Uh, actually put the gun into the object. Um, so we need to change the metaphysics of the object so that you can't do that. Uh, what you'll end up with is people running around in your game and they'll stick their barrel through the walls. And then they'll start shooting people. And uh, yeah, that opens up exploits and glitching and all sorts of things we don't want to mess with. <clears throat> so we need to change uh, how the gun interacts with the actual cube and we need to make sure that this gun cannot actually get inside the cube so if there's too much blast there then we actually need to create a script that would actually move the character back as well as move the block forward um, but we'll get into that in a moment As we see, uh, some of these objects are a lot easier to move than others. Uh, that one's like the Terminator, I guess, because I just fired a lot of rounds into it and it didn't move very far. That one just flies around. Um, as I said, we're going to get in how to delete these walls and add more ground, um, how to change the textures of our ground. And once we get into that, we'll start getting into other things like how to change our sky atmosphere. Uh, we have a generic atmosphere for now. It actually looks kind of quite nice. I like it. Um, it's not... It is moving. It's not moving quick enough, though. It should be noticeable. Uh, these clouds back here actually are not moving. They're static. Uh, we need to change these so that they actually move too and have them recycle and rotate. And if you wanted to add weather and stuff, then you'd actually have to download some kind of weather mod. Uh, you can buy them for cheap, and they have free ones, but they're not that great. Uh, I mean, you're creating a game, so you're going to have to make some kind of investment. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. There, there's you, This isn't going through and creating a free game where you just post it and millions of dollars come in. You're going to invest time. You're going to invest money into this project. Okay? We all are. Um, and in the end, you may end up with a project that you hate, can't do anything with, and that's fine. You're going to build t tons of games that just absolutely suck, and there's really no point to them. And that's just kind of the growing process. Uh, as a programmer, I could tell you how many programs I wrote in college that were actually the stupidest fucking thing I've ever written. Um, console programs that count change, pennies, and nickels, and dimes. And you know, at the time, I thought, oh, this is useless shit. But as time went on and I started programming more and more, I said, you know what, you know, the concepts that I learned there, uh, I may not be able to sell a nickel and dime counting program, but if I ever ended up having to program a CPU to say Coinstar or something, that would really go pretty far for me to, to be able to go ahead and access and change that code, say it's not counting correctly so we can slow everything down and make sure that everything's being counted correctly. Um, it, would, it would really go to help me in, in an aspect like that or a similar type of, of programming need. Um, and that's what it really it's about is you learn one thing and you apply it to something else 